Hi everyone, I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on the organization of a three paragraph essay to help you with your revisions. Remember, if you take a look here, your full heading should be on the left hand side, upper left corner of your paper. Let's take a look at the first paragraph. Your first paragraph should show your voice and your own thoughts. This is about one of the themes in Fahrenheit 451 about being happy. Here we read unhappiness is something we don't want, but we are distracting ourselves from actually being happy. That's a question. Happiness is a feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. Being happy can be hidden if we allow outside distractions to affect our lives. This can determine our success in living a satisfied life. If one is searching for happiness in the wrong areas, it can lead to disappointment and depression. This is considered a thesis statement. You have your topic about happiness. If there are um, searching in the wrong areas that is an opinion statement and the reason why is it can lead to disappointment and depression so the goal of my essay is to prove this section it can lead to di disappointment and depression let's take a look at the body paragraph Happiness and distraction show a contradiction of thoughts because when we're distracted, our focus changes. That is introducing the topic of um, happiness versus distractions. So what I'm doing in the underlying section is I am telling the reader what's happening in the novel. In the novel, Mildred accidentally tries to hurt herself, and one can feel the intensity of emotions. Later in the book, Montag says to Faber, and this is my quote, Nobody listens anymore. I can't talk to my wife. She listens to the walls. I just want someone to hear what I have to say. And maybe if I talk long enough, it'll make sense. I have Bradbury 78, which is the correct in-text citation. Now, what I want to do is explain why that quote supports my reason in my thesis statement. Montag is displeased with his wife, and Mildred's sadness is seen in her not remembering that she tried to harm herself. This is explaining why that quote goes back up and proves that there's disappointment and de depression in these characters. Now I'm going to go ahead and introduce my next quote, telling the reader what's happening in the novel. Despite the difficulties facing Montag, he did strive to want more out of life. He continued in his discussion with Faber, and here's my quote. We have everything we need to be happy, but we aren't happy. Something's missing. Again, my in-text citation, Bradbury, page 78. Now, my explanation as to why this quote supports my thesis. Without a doubt, this clearly shows that happiness is more than having all of our needs met. We can become dissatisfied with life when this happens. Again, I'm proving that there's a disappointment and dis de uh, depression by becoming dissatisfied. Now I'm going into my concluding paragraph. Happiness is finding true contentment and pleasure in life, but distractions can rob us of that. That. So how can we find true balance? In the modern world we live in, everyone has a phone, tablet, and computer, as well as a busy life. Everyone seems to think they have to keep up with today's progress. Is it possible that these devices and busy lifestyles can rob us of happiness because we're so distracted that we fail to be present in our lives? In that case, it would be better to be happier than try to keep up with society. Let's not allow these anxieties and distractions to take away real happiness. Take a stance and take control of your life choices. Again, this concluding paragraph is the author's voice. It's my ideas about how we can fix this. So hopefully after you see this tutorial that will help you in organizing your body paragraph if um, that was one of your um, weaknesses in your essay. I hope that helps. Thank you.